Okay, um, I've moved into an apartment building these days, and so I've decided to kind of uh, add a little bit more uh, modern survival uh, tactics and techniques and things, uh, tools um, to uh, my curriculum and my knowledge base, bone up on those things. Um, out of the sacred order of survival there's, um, that I learned is um, shelter, fire, and water, more or less in that order. Fire is, can also be a uh, shelter, it also can be a tool, it can also be means of hope, hope as well. Um, make you feel better at least. And uh, which is usually hope is the actual thing that you really need when you're in a, in a dire situation, is at least to have some hope. Um, anyways, fire becomes a tool uh, and, and becomes shelter because it provides warmth. And if you're warm enough, you really don't need clothing or anything like that, um, depending on the circumstances. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a mega match and we're going to make a few of these in order to make mega matches really what you need is um, some cotton balls or lint or dandelion fluff or cattail down or uh, you know like I said you know pocket lint maybe um, cotton balls work pretty well uh, as well and these get these at 99 cents probably less at, at the at the uh, grocery store or the um, uh, drugstore. Um, so cotton balls you need. Um, beeswax, all right, or paraffin like candles uh, that you buy from the store and you're just going to melt down the, the candle wax or the beeswax. Beeswax you can get from health, health food stores. You can also check out your farmer's market. There's usually someone who um, works with bees and is selling honey and, 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 and beeswax. Um, or you can order it online, of course, if you don't have that resource or if there's no, no place like that nearby. But I would implore you to check out the um, farmer's markets and connect with those people out there that uh, grow and produce food naturally and organically and stuff like that. And it's a good resource, good knowledge. Um, but you need some wax or paraffin. And then good old wooden kitchen maxes, matches. Now this brand um, is a generic brand. It's a strike on box. It's better to get one of those that you can strike anywhere matches. Those will be better. But um, in this particular case, at the store nearby, this is what they had. Um, and so this is what we're going to use. Um, and, but we're going to need to cannibalize the box here to get a hold of the striker so that we can um, carry these in a container um, like a, an old medicine bottle that I have a strike striker in here that's in a small plastic baggie. Uh, if it could be wrapped in saran wrap or something like that and I've got you know five matches in here I can just kind of shove this in here now what this does is it adds extra protection from moisture and in case the wax wants to melt onto the uh, onto the striker so this is, um, this is a nice little carry option here old medicine bottle uh, jar Altoid tin box or something like that so this is what we're going to make and as you can see this has been lit for a little bit and it's providing pretty good service of the light so they do work um, especially in really um, inclement weather or really moist um, situations so let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you how to make these they're really easy to make really quick to make and uh, there's no excuse not to have them in your your uh, preparations Okay, this is a uh, mega match, and essentially it's basically just regular uh, wood, large kitchen or uh, strike anywhere matches, and take at least uh, at least three of them with a, a cotton ball, and you wrap them, and using paraffin, that's candle synthetic candle wax or beeswax, you dip them in that and let them cool and then and now they're somewhat more waterproof and they uh, light brighter and they stay lit longer for really inclement conditions um, like you know when it's really wet or snow or, or uh, windy out um, so I'm gonna go ahead and light this one it's like so and it should take the other get the other ones going like that and then what I'm gonna do is to set this in here there's a little um, tallow candle in a, a clay holder I made and uh, we'll just let that burn while I show how to put this together 
So, <clears throat> uh, fire is really important, and uh, the sacred order of uh, shelter fire water. Sh sh well, fire becomes a very good tool, especially especially when um, it's you need to disinfect uh, water or cook and or cook food, uh, keep warm, um, make things, etc., etc. So, uh, from a modern survival standpoint, um, breaking away from the more primitive thing. Uh, just for a minute because I'm in an apartment building these days uh, I'm gonna be exploring a little bit more of the sort of modern uh, or uh, urban survival uh, Techniques and things So essentially how to make a mega match is you take at least three matches like so and you take a cotton ball Like this and you lay it out and draft it for people that are familiar with spinning, this is what you would actually do with cotton or wool uh, or plant fibers is you 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 un you unfurl it normally they comb it what they call flick carding or they card it and that's to clean it and to get it all uniform but these cotton balls that you can just buy at any store and I think this bag I bought a big big bag for like ninety nine cents these box of matches was basically ninety nine cents um really cheap. And you can undo it and then it can kind of split it apart and it really doesn't take a whole lot so I can go ahead and grab this here set one of these aside as you see I already have one already pre pre done and we're not going to need all of any one what we're doing is we're drafting it making it longer and this is what would be done if we were spinning this into thread or yarn but for this project we're not so anyways, once you've drafted out your cotton, you just take one match and you want to uh, you want to wrap it around the, the match a few times and then grab the next match, hold it next to it and wrap that in a couple of times. Then you can take your third match and wrap that in and then continue wrapping them all together sometimes the drafting wants to the cotton wants to come apart on you but just keep wrapping it likes to stick to itself and one back down like so again you don't need to use all of it but just enough you can squeeze it on here like that and this is a, this is essentially ready for dipping so real quick and dirty, real simple. So this is basically how it's done. Set this aside. I'm going to do another. I can add this draft onto this because cotton likes to stick to itself. That's why we have cotton clothing because it's a very good uh, plant material to make thread and yarn with. And so that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a hint, hint that you could probably go out and get a bag of cotton balls. And if you know how to, to hand spindle or if you have, actually have a spinning wheel or know how to use a spinning wheel, um, who, who, who needs to go out and harvest cotton? You know, and they already do it for you. You just got to draft, cart it, draft it, and spin it. Then re -sew it into something else. Weave it into uh, some cloths and clothing of fabric and you're good to go just like so so that's that's pretty much it that, I'm gonna set that aside and then like I said this can attach to the next one this is the last one we're gonna do Make sure I'm in frame. Spin that. So again, this is this is dollar store cheap stuff, y'all. Most people probably have a box of regular kitchen matches already somewhere, and this is something you can just kind of do uh, at the spur of the moment and just have in your your go bag or ready bag or just in case of emergency. Um, have this ready to go. Because these do come in handy and they do work. 
especially, you know, especially when you're trying to light that barbecue and it just don't want to take. <laughs> the briquettes don't want to go. You could pull out one of these bad boys, they'll work out. They'll light for you. So I think I'll go ahead and make one more. I just wrap one. And there we go, this one should work. All right, so now we've got four and they're ready for dipping. And uh, um, notice how long this is um, being staying lit. And this is actually pretty good serviceable light. I'm gonna cut the lights for a second just so you can see. Um, pop off the lights in here. So that's pretty good serviceable light um, to at least read something by. Um, and you see how long it's lasting. I wasn't really using a timer, but I tested one of these earlier and it basically, the one that I use was almost uh, nine, eight minutes long of serviceable light. So um, this is gonna be a good tool um, if you're in the middle of the dark uh, and you're able to get it lit for at least a little while. Okay, I'm going to wait for this to uh, burn out. All right, that lasted approximately 10 minutes uh, and it's still going a little bit, but that's only because it's already sitting in some wax and tallow. So this will continue to burn until it runs out of fuel, uh, which is which is the wood. Um, so I'll go ahead and put that out and definitely douse this out before the smoke detector goes off. Kind of pungent there. All right, so I'm just gonna conceptualize some ideas of carrying this around a little bit. So um, for this type of matches, at least this brand here, um, they're not they're saying strike on box. They're not saying strike on anywhere. Otherwise, you could probably use some really fine sandpaper. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to to cannibalize the box. I've put the rest of these uh, matches away into a bag. I'm probably just gonna make the the whole lot of these. To the, uh, the 250 of these and two uh, mega matches and store them away um, but in the meantime I need to cannibalize the box so that we can have a striker I also have a medicine bottle an old medicine bottle that works pretty well as a container uh, this should be fairly uh, airtight fairly waterproof and this actually screws up you lift it and screw it off you don't want one of those types of bottles that you have to use force and twist and all this because you know, if you end up in a survival situation, you're probably going to be injured, uh, under duress, and tired, and that's the last thing you're going to need to do is exert extra strength or something like that. Maybe you, you are with a child or someone who can only be the only that can open it for you, and they can't get it open. So make sure it's a container that you can, that uh, is is waterproof but fairly easy to get in to get in and out. You could also double up by putting the Mega Matches in a little uh, baggie, plastic baggie, sealing it and putting it in here just to make sure that there's no moisture in there at all. So this one I'm going to use, oh, uh, Altoid um, canisters are perfect little pocket survival EDC or everyday carry uh, containers. Uh, so those are pretty good to, to use. I just can't find my collection right now. So anyways, What I'm going to do here is I'm going to dismantle this box. On the seam, trying to protect the seam here. So we have two sides. And what I'm going to want is, I'm going to cut this in half. Because we want a pretty decent working surface. All right. 
So what we can do then is just kind of fold this in half so you have two sides. And then this will fit right into your container with, along with your matches. Okay. <clears throat> to open up the whole thing and you set it on a dry surface and strike your match at a diagonal. Okay? But you fold it in half so it can fit inside of your, your container. Okay? So these will be saved for later for other projects. It might be a good idea to put an extra one in here too. Uh, one is none, two is one at least as a, as a concept and an idea. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 